Welcome to 1.2's Math Moment. Today, students learn about equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions that have the same value, that are the same. This first thing that we learned about today was equivalent fraction chains. So we're going to look at the shaded parts of these fractions. The first fraction we have is 1 shaded out of the 3. So we have 1 third. Our next one, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces. So 6 is my denominator. My numerator, the shaded piece, is 2. So I know that 1 third and 2 sixths are equivalent fractions. Looking in my next one, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is my denominator. I've got 3 of them shaded. So now I know that 3 ninths is equivalent to 2 sixths and 1 third. Looking at my next one, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is my denominator, and I've got four of them. So I know four twelfths is equivalent to one third. The final one I have over here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I've got fifteen pieces for my denominator, and I've got five of them which are shaded. So I've got five fifteenths, which is equivalent to one third. Students also worked with using number lines today. Using this fraction number line, the first question we have is what um, number is equivalent to the heart at 6 eighths? Looking at the 6 eighths on our number line, we need to go up or down looking on our fraction line. Looking as we go up, we see that 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. So those two numbers are the same. Which fraction is larger, the 2 fifths or the 3 eighths? If I look at 2 fifths on my number line, I can see it's a little bit less than half. And if I look at 3 eighths on my number line, I can see it is a little bit even smaller than the two-fifths. So I know that two-fifths is larger because it's closer to the one-half mark. That's all for today in Lesson 1.2. See your math teacher if you have any questions.